Hi, and welcome to this PowerShell quick tip video. In this quick tip video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use PowerShell to comb through your text or log files. This is going to be especially useful if you have a lot of log files or a lot of text files. You need to find a specific entry. So if you're trying to look through your IIS logs, or if you do any custom login logs that are text files, uh, this will definitely help you. Now, I, I just have a small little sample set here um, for the video purposes. But if we open these, uh, they do have only like 15 lines. But this will work if there's hundreds or thousands of lines. Uh, this is the code that I use personally um, in my work or even uh, personal life. If I want to find something really quickly, um, because going through all these individual files, to try to find one thing is definitely not super efficient. And I'm gonna show you code in PowerShell that's gonna be able to do that for you in just a few seconds or just a sh few like short minutes, depending on how many files you actually have. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's actually get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna copy the path of where my log files are because we're gonna need that. And that's actually the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a variable and we're just going to create this as log folder path. And we're going to make that as two double quotes here and paste that in here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually grab all of those logs here. So we're going to do dollar sign logs equals get child item path and log folder path here. So if we actually run these two lines, we will actually see that we get all of our logs here. You're going to see that they're mostly all text files, but I actually do have one dot log file here just to show you guys that it does work with text files or log files. It also works with multiple other files. Basically anything that you could do a get content on in PowerShell, it'll work. And then what we're actually going to go ahead and do is once we actually have these logs, all we're going to do is a for each dollar sign log in logs, open and close curly bracket, and then we're going to do a select dash string. And we're going to look for a pattern here. Now the pattern you can actually use um, regular expression as well. But all we're going to do is we're actually going to find the word find me. And then we're going to put path as log dot full name. And that's going to be actually the full path of the log we're looking um, we're looking at currently. And if we go ahead and we actually run this code, we're going to see that in really like milliseconds, it was actually able to output that it found it in the log seven dot text at line ten, and then it gives you the entire line that it found. So if we actually go ahead, we open that, we go log seven and on a line 10, there is the line. So very, very easy to find. Um, you can easily find that. And if we actually just go ahead and we try to just find test me here, we find it there again. And that is in the log 10 dot log. So once again, we actually show that it does work for dot log or dot text files just fine. If you actually just try to find me, um, so if we actually go ahead and we run that, you're going to see that it will actually find every iteration of that in the files and give you all the multiple placements. So let's say you're looking for IIS logs and you're looking for a specific information. Uh, maybe it's an activity from a certain IP address. Maybe it's suspicious. Maybe someone's having issues with a web application. You want to find all um, the route calls for your IS logs, you would just type in your IP address here or the IP address in question into the pattern, and you could easily find all of those logs. If you create your own login logs um, in your work environment um, or even in your personal environment, if you create any type of logs, you can easily filter that very nicely here. Um, now, this is the long way of doing it. Now, we did this in Visual Studio Code. Of course, you can actually go a little bit further and do this very easily in a terminal window alone. So let's actually just do that real quickly here. 
Uh, let me just make this a little bit bigger for us. So what I would do here is if you just want to do a quick little lookup, you would do get child item path. You would then just paste in the path that you're looking for. And then all I would do is I would do a um, type here. Now this is not ideal because you guys won't be able to see it. Um, but if I actually do this, it will actually be visible here. So once we actually pipe that, all we would do is then do a select dash string. And then we specify our pattern as find me. And then we hit enter. And then right away, it actually finds it for us. Um, so once again, we can just hit up. And then let's say we want to find all the entries for me. There it is. Very, very easy to use. Uh, the select string in combination with get child item will save you a lot of time trying to find things. Maybe you're just trying to find um, something very specific that you wrote a long time ago. You're not sure exactly where it is. You can easily use recurse on the get child item in your documents folder and it will look through everywhere to try to find it. Uh, this could definitely be a, very useful in your personal life, in your work life. Uh, definitely something to actually give a shot if you have an IAS server or your own text files to look through. This is definitely a very easy one to do um, and can get you started with PowerShell, especially if you're just beginning or if you're an expert. This is a great uh, quick tip, in my opinion. Now, if you guys have any commandlets you guys would like me to look at in the next quick tip video, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll do my best uh, to do that quick tip. Also, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell to be notified when that next video comes out and I will see you guys on the next video.